Hello, this is for your knees, so just a regular yoga block. You're gonna come and start just on the rib cage, and you're gonna come and get as comfortable as you can breathing. Because if the rib cage is stacked and you breathe the right way in it, you'll be above your hips better, then you'll be above your knees better, then you'll be above your feet better. better. You can be up on the elbows, you could be down, you can have your head supported, propped, whatever it needs. So you could do that for three minutes, but I'm not gonna do everything for three minutes. Okay, here, so knee bend, the top of the bone, so the tibia. Um, you can be down on your elbow or you could be up on the hand like I was. Um, you're just going to twist forward and back, holding, sinking into it. This is a bony protrusion, so this really might not feel that great. Um, you want to be able to twist back and twist forward. Um, sometimes this can be really painful, like you're like, is this going to be okay? Um, if you're not sure, I would say you know, be more conservative or you just hold hold on or do an area around it and don't do the area that um, is really intense. So now I'm gonna come just above the knee, so up on the uh, femur bone on the inside. So this is all the attachments of the tendons. Um, yeah, they're, you know, for me, a very sharp like pin prick in one particular area, so um, I don't tend to stay on it, or I might adjust it or go just above it, just below it, just in front of it, around it, so you kind of just like avoid it and then, you know, maybe put pressure on it. My leg is staying straight and I'm turning the toe down and the heel up, so rotating the leg in and then rotating the leg out. I would suggest doing the bottom of the other leg, but I'm just gonna do um, this one for now. So now I'm on the same knee outside, lower below the knee. If I need more pressure, I can put the other leg on top of it as I twist forward and back. So the toe is going down and the toe is coming up. And you can do this all down your calf and all up the femur too. It doesn't just have to be this one particular spot because this is the tendon and the ligaments, but the muscle could be having issues in pulling these too, so. And then go just above the knee. Twisting forward and back. And sometimes where you feel the knee isn't necessarily where the problem is, that you might be having some side-to-side -side shifting when you're walking. Um, the knee that you feel it in is the weak one, but the other one might just be a little behind it. Um, so it's always good to do both sides. So while I'm here, I'd then, you know, just change and do the upper part of the inside of the knee, the lower part, hold and breathe and sink, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to do just above the knee on the quad. And you can do the whole part of the quad, but so it's gonna be more of a plank. Up on my elbows, um, I guess you could lie down um, if you needed to. It just changes where the block is, whether you're on the flat part or an edge. Um, you might need to start flat. Um, you can do edge. You can also do a towel instead of a yoga block. I always like bending and straightening really getting in this quad and I like the edges too but um, on your first day you might not like it turn in turn out toe in toe out okay do the other leg I don't know you could do one whole side and then feel it and then do the other whole side and then you're gonna put the block right on top of it and you're gonna push down. When I first started this, I could put zero pressure on it. Um, I always bumped this knee and I always thought it was the same spot that I happened to bump. Um, 
but then I realized how I can I could put like no pressure on this and over time I just let it be just very gently rocked it and then over time I could put more pressure on it um my knee was very painful but I could feel that all of this some way was relieving it um maybe do this every other day it can cause a healing crisis where you're going to have a little bit of swelling because swelling helps to flush things out and move it away but use your intuition be don't be too intense um kind of just doing around it all if you're really not sure what you're doing if you're doing something painful you can always try it on the other side just to see if it's quite the same um because you know when my knee hurt so bad and I couldn't put it you know I didn't know if that was the norm or not and so I did it on the other one and I could see like oh no I can tolerate it but um you always have to be where your body's not tensing so if you're pushing really hard and you can feel it tensing it's kind of the opposite of what you want it to do that you really want it to breathe and release that's why I started with the diaphragm so as long as you can be breathing and having your breath really be um oxygenating your cells to help circulation and remove anything stuck in inflammation, then that will help. Okay, hope this helps.